Hey guys, it's the 20th of August. My name's Jess McDonald and this is GS News. Do you find yourself not in Germany this morning or not stuck to your internet device tracking every update from the gaming industry for the last 24 hours? Well, do I have the news update for you. Let's talk Sony and Microsoft at Gamescom. Microsoft headed off the conferencing festivities as usual, and while we didn't get another awkward Don Matrick hand clap, we did get a whole lot of news, so let's get into it. Yeah. Microsoft announced the independent developers at Xbox program, which is that indie self-publishing initiative we've been hearing about. There'll no longer be an indie section in the marketplace from the view that all games are equal, and priority acceptance into the program will be offered up to qualified devs with proven track records. Also, that FIFA 14 rumour from yesterday's news proved to be 100% true, so give yourself a pat on the back if you saw that one coming. The game will be included with all European pre-orders. And here are a whole bunch of other things that happened really, really quickly. Peggle 2 and Plants vs Zombies will be Xbox One timed exclusives. There are dedicated servers on Xbox One for all you Call of Duty fans. The Division is getting exclusive content on X1 and the launch lineup is out of the bag, consisting mostly of what we expected as well as Zoo Tycoon. If you're planning on cracking into Killer Instinct, Microsoft confirmed all the characters will be 5 bucks, except for the previously showcased character Jago. Also, Fable Legends is happening. The Unreal Engine 4 powered co-op RPG integrates smart glass and enables four-player co-op. So plenty of opportunities to tell your friends to hurry the hell up. Alright, Sony fans who've been blocking your ears through that first segment, let's talk PlayStation news. A bunch of people's two favourite words are finally being combined today, so get used to hearing the phrase cheap Vita. The handheld console is getting a price cut down to 199 bucks starting tomorrow, as will the memory cards, so I hope you didn't just go out and grab yourself one. The Vita is also all set to get Fez and Borderlands 2. Classic Amiga game Shadow of the Beast is getting remade for the PS4, and Minecraft is landing as a launch title on the PS4, as well as coming to the PS3 and Vita. Sony has also revealed an official PS3 to PS4 upgrade program where gamers who bought PS3 titles can grab a digital copy of the PS4 version at a significantly discounted price. It's worth also mentioning here that Amazon are running a very similar promotional upgrade program called Up Your Game for the Xbox One. On top of all that, the 12GB PS3 model is all set to sell in North America for $199 as rumoured, and Europe will get a price drop on the console from $229 to 199 euros. And the Watchdogs film is moving forward, thank God. Perhaps the point on which people are most excited is that the PS4 got a freaking launch date. So note November 15 down on your calendars, Sony fans. Also, Sony had another shot at Microsoft saying that Our goals for PS4 are clear, ambitious, and unwavering. And while others have shifted their message and changed their story, We were consistent in maintaining policies and a model that is fair and in tune with consumer desires. Hilarious or tacky, let me know what you think. Yeah. You can check out our complete rundowns of the conferences at gamespot.com slash gamescom if these terribly brief mentions didn't quite do the job. But consider yourself relatively up-to-date non-Gamescom attending friends. Let me know what Gamescom announcements had you excited. You can write down your thoughts in the comment box below by contacting me on Twitter at Jess McDonald or by using our very imaginative GS News hashtag. You can subscribe to us on YouTube, check out our GS News Hub or our Gamescom Hub for plenty more news and stuff. We'll be back exactly the same time tomorrow, so come join us then where I'll be reading the news, but hopefully a whole lot slower. See you then.